This is the Quicksum Fractional Adding Machine. It's an adding machine for adding together lengths measured in feet, inches and fractions of an inch. And it was invented by a man called Joseph F. Leitner. He was an architect working mostly in North Carolina and South Carolina during the first two decades of the 20th century. In 1915 he invented a, a fractional adding machine and set up a small company to uh, develop that, but nothing seems to have come of it. In 1923 he tried again. Uh, this time he patented this machine and in the next year it was being manufactured. It's unclear how much this machine uh, resembles his first attempt. The first model was made by Fulton Manufacturing Company in Atlanta, Georgia, but uh, all the later models were made by Precision Adding Machine Company in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Let me now demonstrate this machine. At the moment the uh, register shows a 15 here in this small cutout window. So that's 15 feet and here it has 5 inches and half an inch. To add some other length to it you simply use the stylus to turn the wheels. I'll add 10 feet to it so I'll put the stylus next to the 10. I don't have the original stylus, I'm using an old ballpoint pen here. So you put the stylus next to the 10 and then turn the wheel until it hits this stop at the top. And that's added 10 to the register, it now says 25 feet. And I'll add uh, 8 inches to that, it has a 5 here now. So I'll put it next to the 8 and turn and you'll see that it automatically carried over so it now shows one inch and the feet has incremented to 26. And the same happens if I add say uh, three quarters of an inch to this half. I put it next to the three quarters and turn and it carried over incrementing the number of inches to two. It's a very simple machine like that. It has a, a stored energy carry mechanism. So that means it carries over very easily. I'll, uh, let me show you how that is. If I turn everything to uh, almost the top, okay. So now everything is just about to carry over, it has 31 30 seconds of an inch, 11 inches and here on feet it, this, this wheel carries, uh, has, um, counts up to 99, so it has 99 here. So if I move this one everything should carry over. But that movement is very easy to do. It, you don't have to physically move all of these wheels, those move by the stored energy in the springs inside. This machine does not have a, a clearing mechanism, so if you need to set it to zero, you have to do that yourself, putting the stylus next to the small arrow, starting from the wheel on the right, turn it all the way to the top. So now it's back to zero. The earlier models, the models A and B, they had uh, a button that you could slide which would uh, block these wheels from moving past zero. So you didn't have to you put the stylus next to an arrow, you could just turn it until it stopped moving.
This machine is very rare. The first versions were made probably at the end of 1923, while the patents were still pending. And yeah, this version is the Model C and was made by the Precision Adding Machine Company. That company changed its name to the Precision Corporation in around September 1924. I haven't found any machines that use that new name. The uh, serial numbers for the Model C all range between 2500 and 2900. So maybe about 400 of these were made, possibly about 200 or so of the first two models. So possibly about 600 altogether. So that was the Quicksum Fractional Adding Machine. Thank you for watching.